Greetings, YouTube. From a long hiatus, it's Tommy308 again, back with the, another video. This is going to be my roleplay video of a character I created named Agent Jamie. Now, Agent Jamie used to be in the military, and she's a retired assassin. So she had bought this penthouse apartment above the casino after she had moved to Los Santos using some of her stash millions and gotten a call from Mrs. Baker, who is the manager of the casino. So right now, she is going and headed over there to see what the deal is and what she needs done. This video is going to just be a sort of intro to her story. She's already done the, prolo uh, the prologue, the, you know, the tutorial and everything. She's got a few cars, whatever. So, after this video is when it will be heavily roleplayed. There won't be a lot of voice recording, there won't be a lot of whatever, it will be commentary here and there. Maybe. It's just going to be gameplay tips within the lore. But, here she is headed to her office the manager's office. She's about to do it, and then she's gonna go and see Lester after the mission is done. So here we go. I think I mentioned we have some ownership problems. Mr. Duggan. Exactly. The Duggan family. They want to buy this place, but first they mean to destroy it so they can rebrand it, write off all its debts, and get it cheap, then turn it into a tacky dump. I feel awful asking for your help, but I obviously cannot go to the police, and we are trying to avoid a trade war or an international dispute. The Changs are considered respectable businessmen. They're not. The Chinese government cannot stand them. I know, but they pay me to say that. At the same time, Tao, Tao Cheng, our owner who you met, has disappeared. Ugh. Now, normally when Mr. Cheng disappears for three days, I think no big deal. Party, few crash car, and everything's fine when I write a few checks. But this time, he go out to score Crystal, and he don't come back. He said something about a contact in the desert, a meth dealer he had met, and... Now we think he's been kidnapped by some bikers out near Sandy Shores. Really the last thing we need. Another scandal. Is there any way you can head out there and have a look for him? <laughs> Champagne, anyone? Okay. We think Mr. Chang is at an old abandoned motel in Sandy Shores, and hopefully alive, too. It's still not clear if this is a kidnapping or an extended after-party. It's probably a bit of both. But we need him back here at the casino as soon as possible. The Duggins have stepped up their takeover attempt, and we need our owner here to keep things calm. No matter how wired he might be. I don't think the Duggins are behind the kidnapping itself. They're major investors in a private military company, so if they wanted Tao taken, they have plenty of big men with guns to do it. No, these are just regular old meth-dealing bikers. Who are not going to like seeing you show up to spoil the fun. Please, just find Tao and bring him back here. Alright, and here we are headed back to the hotel where Mr. Chang is supposedly being held. So, Jamie is using advanced military attack, like this laser rifle here, that she acquired through <clears throat> illicit means, let's just say. Um, as you see, she almost took out her partner there, some dude that she hired to help out, because uh, he doesn't know how to park, but this is what Agent Jamie gets for working with amateurs. But, as you can see, she's very good with this uh, rifle, she's good with pistols, she's got a whole arsenal. So, joy, and we'll see what, Amy, what Agent Jamie gets up to after this.
shit! You ain't going nowhere!
Thank you. I'm. This, one thing, no one does. Chen Xinxian, you are the phone call to your sister. Well, thank you again. And anyway, I hope this will be the last of it, and we can make the Duggins go away. We're all grateful for the safe return of Mr. Chang. I don't know how this place would run without him. Anyway, it's good to see you doing your part to keep this ship from sinking. We'll speak soon, I'm sure. Alright, so after that, now we're headed to go see Lester. Um, that awkward cut there was a freaking... The dumbass put a uh, bomb on my car, so... Had to tell him to fuck off for a bit. Anyways, now we're driving to Lester, and we'll see what the hell he wants. Hello, I'm sorry. Something else has come up. Can you please come back to my office? Over here, you... Welcome to paradise. <laughs> if your idea of paradise is a place where a sick, creepy voyeur can spy on anyone in the country with total impunity, <laughs> I've made a big name for yourself. And that name is Dangerous Idiot who's just waiting to get robbed. So do yourself a favor and put some of that, uh, not so hard earned money into real estate. Then you can be a real player, just like me. <laughs> uh, Jesus, as I say that, I realize how depressing and pathetic I've become. I'm a, a mess, you know, uh, take pity on me. <laughs> End it now, kill me, ah! <laughs> and I thought it was funny. Okay, well, like I said, put some of that money into property. There's already people who want to rob you, and soon enough, there will be people who want to kill you. And if anybody gets particularly fresh, just give me a shout. I can put a bounty on them, and every whack job in the state will want to get them off your back for you. Of course, you never know. Maybe someone asked me to do it to you. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Alright, now we just met Lester for the first time, and we'll see what she gets up to in episode 2.